This video covers the premium options of the Ultimate FAQs plugin, describing what each option does and showing a before and after visual where appropriate. The FAQ display style option sets the overall theme for your FAQs. Default styling is the version available to all free and premium users. Block style adds a background to each FAQ when it is toggled open. Border block style adds a background to the question and a border around the FAQ content area. Contemporary style adds top and bottom borders to each FAQ, as well as adding a background to the question. List style lists all of the questions in your FAQs as links, which then scrolls a visitor down to the open question when one is clicked. Minimalist style adds top and bottom borders to each FAQ. The number of columns and responsive columns options decides how many columns your FAQ should be listed in on large screen devices. With responsive columns enabled, as the screen size shrinks, the maximum number of columns is reduced to ensure your FAQs continue to be accessible to visitors. The Reveal Effect option determines what effect, if any, should be used when a question is opened. There are over a dozen possible selections available for this option. The FAQs per page option determines how many FAQs should be included when the page first loads. If you have more FAQs available than the number entered for FAQs per page, then the remaining FAQs will be loaded asynchronously later when your visitor clicks to view them. The page type option determines how additional FAQs are loaded if your total number of FAQs being displayed exceeds the number of FAQs you've set to be displayed per page. Distinct Pages removes the currently listed FAQs and then loads a new set of FAQs. Load More button adds a button to the bottom of your FAQ list, which then adds a new set of FAQs to the bottom of the list when clicked. Infinite Scroll adds a new set of FAQs to the bottom of the list automatically each time a visitor reaches the bottom of the page. When enabled, the FAQ Ratings option allows your visitors to provide feedback on which FAQs they find useful by clicking on up or down vote buttons that are added to each FAQ. The FAQ Ratings Thumbs Up Image option lets you enter a custom image that will be used as the upvote button for your FAQs when ratings are enabled. The FAQ Ratings Thumbs Down Image option lets you enter a custom image that will be used as the downvote button for your FAQs when ratings are enabled. When enabled, the Pretty Permalinks option creates SEO-friendly permalinks within your FAQ page to be used in the FAQ permalink text or icon. When enabled, the Disable Front Page Canonical Redirects option allows pretty permalinks to be used for FAQs displayed on the home page of your website. When enabled, the FAQ Autocomplete Titles option adds a list of completion options to the search box when using the FAQ Search Shortcode, which visitors can click on to view an FAQ. When enabled, the Highlight Search Term option adds a bright background to any exact matches for the search term within the FAQ search results. The FAQ Slug Base option allows you to change the permalink slug base for individual FAQ post pages. The default value is UFAQs. The Social Media option setting lets you add easy social sharing links to your individual FAQs, so that visitors are able to share them quickly and easily on social media. When enabled, the WooCommerce FAQs option allows you to add an FAQs tab to WooCommerce products. You'll be able to select which FAQs to display for a particular product on the Edit Product screen. When enabled, the Use WooCommerce Product Object option instructs the plugin to use the WooCommerce Product Object when adding FAQs to a product page, rather than determining the product based on the page ID. When enabled, the WP Forms Integration option lets you display FAQs which match the information that a visitor types into an administrator specified field for a WP Form. This can be used to display FAQs which match a question that a user is submitting through the form without having to wait for a response. The WP Forms Post Count option allows you to specify the number of matching FAQs that should be displayed when using WP Forms integration. The WP Forms Location option allows you to display FAQs which match a WP Forms query either above or below the administrator specified field. The WP Forms Minimum Characters option lets you control how many characters need to be typed into the administrator specified field in WP Forms before the plugin tries to find matching FAQs. The default value is 12. When enabled, the Allow Proposed Answer option allows visitors to submit proposed answers to the questions they submit using the Submit FAQ Blocker shortcode. When enabled, the Submit Custom Fields option allows visitors to fill in any custom fields, other than file field types, that you've created for your FAQs. When enabled, the Submit Question CAPTCHA option adds an image with a number to the bottom of the Submit FAQ form. Visitors need to enter the correct number when they submit a question for the submission to be accepted. The Default Category option lets you automatically add all user-submitted questions to a category that you specify. 
When enabled, the admin question notification option lets an administrator receive an email notification that a question has been submitted at the email address you specify in the admin notification email text box. The FAQ submitted thank you email option lets you automatically send an email to visitors after they submit a question. You can use the Ultimate WP Mail plugin to create the email and then select it on the Ultimate FAQ setting page. The FAQ's Elements Order option lets you drag and drop the different FAQ elements to reorder the contents of your FAQs. There are no restrictions on which part of an FAQ needs to appear before any other part.